this is Rob, Rob Chisholm, and today we're sitting in the park just to show you the flexibility of editing on the fly and the new f or some of the new features in Luma Fusion. So here I've got a few little videos mucking around with. Um, so the sky is from the park and the bird is from Brighton Seafront. So I'm just sort of, you know, having a bit of fun. And at the same time I can show you just really quickly how it all works. So if we follow the mouse, my pen down here, activate the little arrow there. Um, if you want to select the videos, you always place it in front, like that. Draw down, this is with a pen, you use your finger. And then it's selected those videos. What we're going to do, we could, if we wish, delete them. So you can go delete. That's quite handy actually sometimes to select and delete things. It brings them back interestingly enough all selected so that's cool. We could uh, you know, duplicate whatever we want to do but in this case scenario we're going to copy. I'm going to go up here which is my preferred method to get to the end of the timeline. If the keyboard was connected I'd just simply use a shortcut. I'm going to paste those videos just to show you. Uh, some overwriting occurred, so some th well, that's because I've got um, three layers. Should we? Or one, or one, two, three, four layers. Or, yeah, four layers. So that was just to show you what you can do, and as I said, you can delete. So this time, when I work, I'm going to delete these here. What I would normally do, or preferred, is to hold it there or at the top. We hope. Yeah, missed that last one. Okay, whoops. And I can delete those if I had missed any. I could just you know, click on that, click to undo it, and I'm going to delete them. So they've gone now. And for argument's sake, we will go here. I will. Uh, well, I'll just do it like this one, I suppose. Just um, showing there wasn't a button for select all I suppose. Sometimes I find if I do it with my finger it works a lot more 100% each time selecting those videos there. I'm going to go to my presets. So these are presets that I've already made over you know, years or whatever and um, I'm going to just pick something random I suppose and there's no undo in here uh, in this so you have to sort of exit to undo and that effect is now being applied across it so who knows that might turn into a, a new transition so that that's just taken effect so you could uh, you can't you see there's no open to edit is there you are looking to use your presets that's why it's useful to have presets and just apply them let's just see what happens there that should be literally applied to all of them which it is you know Pretty cool, isn't it? So you can move, drag and drop uh, layers. There's no restrictions. Six audio, six videos. And you can also take them into other projects, which is quite handy. So that's the basics of it. There is uh, there is more you can do. One thing you can't do is you couldn't speed up the video to 600 in one video, then take that video, place it into the other videos as an effect. It won't support that. But it will support... Um, Everything uh, that you can think of, really, transitions, text, uh, effects that you make, uh, drag and drop. You you can't, you, I'll just undo that. You, you couldn't go and select that one there and then this one, sorry. If it was like that, you couldn't go that one, that one and that one. It would have to be all three uh, on the main timeline, that is. So hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, that's enough from me. Uh, Better get back to my day in the park. What a nice day it is. Many thanks, Rob Chisholm.